Hi, I'm Andre from ADAC System. Uh, we're here with Analog Zone at Superbooth and we're showing mainly uh, two new modules in our partnership with uh, Electro Harmonics or collaboration. And we have the C9 organ machine, the K9 Electro Pianic Piano Machine, and the B9 Organ Machine. Basically, the same as their uh, known already pedals, but voltage controlled everything with a few twists and a few additions like uh, saturation and uh, with preset trimmers, uh, mix, wet dry mix, CV inverters, and attenuators for all the inputs. The, even the presets are voltage controlled. We're also demoing for the first time our freeze machine, which is basically the electro harmonics freeze pedal, but it, once again, it has voltage controlled everything, it has three inputs uh, instead of only one, wet dry mix, and a feedback gain so you can stack layers of uh, freezing sounds. We're also introducing a whole new, three new modules on MIDI. But basically, it's instead of MIDI to CV, it's actually CV to MIDI. So we have a, a router, a MIDI router, with uh, the standard DIN5 jacks, USB MIDI, USB host port, and two um, MIDI in and out by the stereo jacks, like the Volca series now have and uh, make noise. So these, these work as a router, merger, and splitter. So you can plug one input here and you can route it to every other output or vice versa. You can plug one in and, or merge these in, two inputs into another output or whatever combination you want in routing and merging. Then we have a CV to CC, meaning CV to control change uh, MIDI messages with 10 CV inputs, uh, USB MIDI, and uh, MIDI over jacks. And you, they're MIDI through as well, so you can send from here to here the MIDI itself. Then there's a software application where you can access the presets, and you can actually define which CC controller that is in that one and that one. So for example, right here, we have this one controlling the Big Sky. So the Big Sky has MIDI implementation for everything. So it's just controlling every parameter of the Big Sky straight out of CV voltages coming from the modular. Right now we don't have it that much plug, but that's the idea. And the last one in the series is the one volt per octave to MIDI notes. So we have four channels or four streams of MIDI notes coming. You can set each stream to each uh, to an independent uh, MIDI channel. You have independent velocity with voltage controlled, of course. Uh, octaves, so you can push one octave or two octaves up. So offsetting the oct octave of the voltage coming in. You also have how many voices in each of the streams. So one, three, or six voices. Uh, you have notes off, so when you have several notes on, you can kill the notes that are on and all notes off. So these ones would trigger all notes off immediately. Also features USB MIDI, so you can play any virtual synthesizers with notes coming from the modular. And you also have the stereo jack MIDI systems. We're also showing for the first time our clock sources and our mill plateau complex envelope generator. And the clock source is, is a, a clock source with time signature. So you, you can actually define I want a, a 3 by 4 or a 7 by 8 or whatever time signature you want to give it. And you have every, you have out the triggers every beat or every bar. Uh, you can have a swing delay happening every X beats. Uh, you have triplets and uh, the ones with five, seven, and nine that I don't know the names in English. But you can at any point you can trigger a, a triplet, or for example, or you also have phasing that works in two ways. Either you have like two different. This is actually almost like a secondary clock, so you can actually either offset and keep it synced, or you can have one clock running a little bit faster or slower than the other clock. 
meaning you can play all those uh, Steve Reich uh, phasing pieces. You also have a divider, and then the mill plateau, which is a quad, uh, it has four envelopes. And then one of the main things is that attack and release doesn't mean it, they end at zero. So you can start the envelope at five, coming down, going up, and coming down again, or any mix in between. You can have attacks, and uh, and the attacks, or the, the, the time, so for attack decay, uh, sustain and release, and this can have a short time, uh, a long time, or a very time, which means you can clock the, the envelope from an external source. You also have shapes for every step of the envelope, meaning you can go from logarithmic to on the, you can have a, an exponential attack, a log, logarithmic uh, decay, exponential sustain, and exponential release, for example, or any combination in between. You have end of decays and end of cycles for all the voices independently. You have the four outputs. You can trigger all the voices separately, freeze, so meaning that it holds one at one point of the envelope with this freeze gate input. You can uh, clock all of them at the same time, trigger all of them at the same time. They can be, they can work as a gate for more for nodes uses for as a trigger um, or as a loop mode. They can be AD or ADSR. They can, the output can be bipolar or positive only. And then there's a morphing function. So the way it works is kind of you select each voice and you make your adaptation. Or your, uh, uh, you, set, you put the settings however you want. But then you can bring the morphing time up. And what happens then is that you put one settings, you freeze or you hold those settings then you change the settings, and then when you un unhold this one, it will morph, the envelope for shape will morph to the new one, and so on for, for all the, the voices. So that's kind of a, the, our complex envelope generator.